Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Ari. We're with Elevate Ultimate, and these are our top three ways to make drills fun. Number one, we like to add a timed component. So your normal basic throwing, they can be partner throwing, but if you add a timed component, they're gonna be way more invested. An example of this is, you know, we'll just be doing basic backhands back and forth, and then we say as many catches as you can do in a minute. And then once that minute's done, we actually do one more minute, and we try and get the kids to beat their score. And so they're really motivated to beat their previous score, and they're focused on just their own team and not anyone else's team, which is really nice. The second way we like to make our drills more fun is adding points. In our case, we actually use a lot of cones. Kids really like collecting cones for some reason. And so even a most basic drill where you're just throwing back and forth, if you can add some targets where there's cones in various areas of the field, and if you catch the disc on that cone, you get to bring it back to your team as a point. Kids love that and they're way more motivated, running way more to actually complete those passes. And the last way we like to make practices more fun is by modifying ultimate. So sometimes if the kids are not necessarily super talented yet at cutting and throwing, the actual game of ultimate can be kind of a drag and not everybody is getting involved. So we have tons of games in our book and our resources that show you how to modify things to make sure that more people are getting touches on the disc and there's no eliminations. It's just really, really fun. So you got to check it out. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you grab a copy of the book because there's lots of useful stuff in there, including drills and games, which we all want more of and where you can sign up for the newsletter. Thanks.